it would be nice to say that I was, you know, in the top 100 people for anything at some point in my life besides being an a-hole. You know, it'd be something my mommy could be proud of. Is this the same sorcerer we played earlier or is this a different one? I'm going to assume he's Ward, in which case the Fighter's Guild recruit isn't as awesome. I'd rather get him for free off a of Prophecy if I could. And again, no Elixir. We've had Elixir, what, like two, two games so far tonight, and we've won both of those games? Yeah, I kind of agree. I, uh... I think... I think it'd be nice... Oh, wow, really? And I don't get to play anything because I kept the witches. All right. Night Shaman. Love you too, bro. Yeah, I think it'd be nice to kind of have some clarification, Shwitty. And to be honest, Harris and I also agree. I, I still make way too many what I consider to be like boneheaded, easy play mistakes. So, well, this is a real problem here because I still just have the witches. I was completely planning on ward. But I feel like I almost have to play the witch and then likely play the second witch next turn to kill that because I need to somehow try to get the health lead for soul resting the cliff razor, right? So, as much as I don't want to make that play, I feel like that's kind of mandatory. <laughs> Yeah, kind of amen to that too, Betty. I spend too much time playing arena and video editing, it feels like. I have okay, so the tome is kind of ultra annoying. Um, I mean, I could witch again. I would really hate to like waste a withered hand cultist into just a trade, but... I think that's necessary. Because otherwise I witch, he also kills that witch, I get nothing out of it, and I still haven't hit him yet for the health lead, right? So, regardless, I'm not going to have the health lead going into turn 5, which is a real big bummer because of this uh, shitty draw. Oh, well, there's the word we were looking for. Didn't even get the trade that we wanted. They cannot hope to have with me. I mean, I guess I could have leaf lurkered it, but I kind of want to bait some more words out of it. If I'm being entirely honest. By the eight. They will meet their makers. I have them. All too simple. I bring reinforcements. Not sure if I should have lane stacked there or not. Probably should have lane stacked in hindsight. Shame. I gotta be honest, the ward is, uh, the wards are a really annoying matchup for me as an archer player. All too simple. I can't pyromancer and leaf lurker.
I think we just get rid of this now. He's going to make this trade, since I can't do both anyway, he's going to make that trade so we can just Leaf Lurker that next turn, I guess. I guess. This is not, not going well because of the uh, ultra shitty start. We're taking way too long to get online and now he has like a million cards in hand and too much magic to spend on him. Yeah, Daggerfall, Daggerfall mages also give me a rare disease. By the eight, they will meet their makers. It's just infinite card draw, and they just never seem to die. Like in the history of ever. They cannot hope to outwit me. So at this point, we're just trying to, I guess, force damage down his throat. And hope he's not playing Night Shadow, which I expect him to be. Sure be nice if he would crack a rune. I mean, he won't, but it would be nice. That's not the least bit annoying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure, because of the presence of this ward, I'm not sure if we can actually come back. Maybe we can. I mean, I could Leaf Lurker here and then try to to bait the ward crack here, which would open up for maybe a burn and pillage clear at some point. But I feel like, again, my goal is to just, like, go damage, 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 right? Uh, yeah, I'm running two Earth Bones. I don't know if you can see them on the list there, but... I have not seen them since, like, my first game of the night. I mean, killing this doesn't save any damage. So I guess there's not a ton of incentive to do that. Other than that I'm going to play the Leaf Lurker either way. I think we're going to do this one here. Oh, gotcha. No worries. That's why I said I didn't know if you could see it. I get a lot of people that watch on either phone or tablet, so... There are, in fact, uh, two Earthbone spinners. Well, that was an infinitely frustrating move. Even, even more so because he shackled the Avenger. Let's at least get some damage in. Suck on that! Chihuahua watches over me. I mean, he's just going to die now, right? Like, he's going to lightning bolt it or whatever, but... Alright, we got him to seven. Um, basically, uh, I used to have Snagit on my computer that I used for snipping, but lately I've just been putting it in either GIMP or Paint, whatever I happen to have running at the time. But yeah, I put it into Legends, and then I snip it. I'm slowly but surely going to start, like, adding my decks to be public for Legends, so... If you do uh, exclamation decks right now, it actually should take you to the profile. It's not the most, like, fleshed out at the moment, but it's a thing. He still has seven to respond, but I think I go here. 
because the cliff racer makes me close to lethal. Do not vex me. What are your intentions? Not anymore. That is annoying as shit for the record. Like, cannot begin to tell you how annoying that is. Um, the problem is I think he still has lethal. Because he's going to have 11. And I can only do... 3. If I, if I had a way to kill my own cultist... If I had a way to kill my own cultist... Then uh, I'd have enough for lethal. But I sadly don't have a way to kill my own cultist at the a moment. Omen for you. Uh, I guess it doesn't hurt to see what this gets us for now. Yeah, but to set creatures, I have to put more there. Like I needed to have, I need to be able to attack and kill this, and have enough to play Cliff Racer and Burn and Pillage. Like that was, that was what I needed. That last turn, I had eleven, and I needed that eleven to be six for Burn and Pillage, and the other five for Cliff Racer. So having to play anything else meant I was kind of boned. That's, I guess, that's what I meant. So instead, I have to play defensive, right? I gotta wipe the board and uh, hope that I can attack for three with whatever's left over plus Cliff Racer this turn. Yeah, there's still a chance. It's just not, you know, not. Not looking too good. Thankfully, he's used uh, at least the one Lightning Bolt. Because he could just attack and double lightning bolt me. You know, that would be a bad time. If you eat lightning bolts to the face, you're going to have a bad time. Oh, snap! I think we got it. Come dance with death. A fine display. Yeah, so we made the right play by bailing out there and and going defensive. I just I get greedy and I want to win when I want to win, you know. 